In part one of my special report, Digital Depression, we heard from medical professionals in the Wabash Valley why being overwhelmed and overworked by technology can lead to stress and burnout at your workplace. In part two, we asked a working professional in the Wabash Valley to agree to a 12-hour ban on digital-related items. A person who had never gone a half day without cell phone or internet use in 11 years until now. This. Come on, babies. This. Nikki Wesley's typical day ends when she takes her two bull mastiff Ooh. dogs, Duchess and Zeus, for an evening walk. But Nikki agreed to go through an atypical day recently. A day without the internet, her cell phone, and social media for 12 waking hours. The one exception to the agreement is if Wesley received an emergency related call on her cell phone. Nikki admitted that she was nervous about agreeing to the technology free challenge. Well, that kind of scares me because I don't like to think that I'm, you know, so dependent on, you know, the technology that we have these days, and I definitely am. <laughs> this is our extra office. Okay. Nikki's workday started at 8.30 a.m. as the chapter executive of the Wabash Valley American Red Cross, one hour after she's rid herself of her cell phone, email, and social media accounts, which include Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Nikki's co-workers even admitted that Wesley would have her hands full with her 12-hour hiatus from digital-related products. She used social media a lot for her work, of course, and then just texting. So I'm thinking there's no way she's going to make it. At 2.30 p.m., seven hours after going internet-free and cell phone-free, Nikki has only corresponded through her work phone landline at the Wabash Valley American Red Cross. But Wesley admits that on a few occasions, she nearly succumbed to technology temptation. How many times have you been tempted? The laptop, the cell phone. You have no idea. So much. <laughs> so much. As it turns out, Nikki met the challenge. And the 12 hour embargo of internet, cell phone, and social media use by Wesley expired during her nightly walk with Duchess and Zeus. Here they come. Okay. After turning on her cell phone, Nikki had more than 220 emails, text messages, and voicemails waiting for her reply. It was definitely not as stressful because I feel like when people text me, you know, I need yeah. to text them back. Yeah. So, and sometimes, you know, I just, I do get stressed out with all the text messages. And I'm like, gosh, you know, it's kind of nice to not have to worry about that. Nikki did admit as the day stretched into evening, the temptation to give in to technology was more enticing. How many times today were you tempted? just out of, oh. out of a reflex to grab your phone or your laptop and I started thinking of people that I haven't talked to in years that I wanted to text <laughs> I heard this song on the radio it was an old 90s song and I thought oh my gosh I need to tell my old middle school best friend about that and yeah. I had never thought about so many different people that I just I just wanted to talk to somebody because I felt so lonely <laughs> <laughs> According to research, there are seven main signs of digital depression, one of them being an inability to unplug from working life. Yes, good for her, though. For a list of all seven signs of digital depression, visit our website, WTHITV.com.